I'm going to show you three things about automation that will make your life much easier. So the first thing is I want to create an automation change at bar 58. Okay, go for it. Oh no, okay, I deliberately got it wrong, but the point is that uh, it's not snapping. So I've got snapping turned on for everything else, but it's not snapped it to the start of bar 58. So the first thing is snapping. Automation has its own snapping menu. So you click in the snapping menu for everything else and go down and look, snap automation. I can choose a level, let's choose quarter notes. And has it done it? No, ridiculous. Maybe they'll change this one day. You have to go back into that menu and turn it to active. What a pain. Then I can snap it to the beat. Um, really common to have to make changes at a specific point. Really common in exams to say, create some kind of change and then copy and paste it over a number of bars. So you can drag through, you don't have to get the exact points, you don't have to draw a box, you just literally click and drag left to right and then you can drag all of the points and if you then hold down option as you're doing it, I can create another copy of that automation change. Oh, that's funny, it's because I didn't click and there we are, perfect. Um, what if uh, another exam trick I want to create an immediate change at bar 58. So not one that changes over time, but an immediate change of volume. I'll drag this back. Oh no, because it's uh, essentially gone at the same time as this change, it's kind of overridden the previous change. It, I can drag it back, it's not deleted forever. If I drag it backwards and let go of my mouse and then try and get it back, it, it doesn't exist, it's deleted it. It doesn't remember it that far ago. So this is, this is a pain. I'll then have to go back into here and turn off the snapping in order to kind of get, get it back to here as much as possible, but not too much because otherwise it'll get rid of it. And I, I just find this so fiddly and, and frustrating. Let's get rid of all of this and I'll show you a better trick. So we've already learned how to snap it, but snapping is fiddly. We've learned how to copy and paste things. Let's create a change using this really useful menu item, which is in the mix menu, create track automation, create two automation points for the visible parameter, the one that we can see, or else I suppose one, but I quite like two for this reason. Let's get the playhead out of the way. If I click anywhere on this line, absolutely anywhere, even over here and just drag upwards, it's created an immediate change because that menu item has made two automation points exactly at the same point. As it happens, it's not the same point. If I zoom in really far, you can see they're slightly different because they have to be, that's the way logic works. But they're so close together that it, it sounds like the same point, and that's totally fine. Um, so that's a quite useful menu item, but it's right in this menu, and it's in a sub-menu, and it's difficult to find. So I've created a keyboard shortcut for this, and you can create keyboard shortcuts for anything in logic that you find yourself using a lot um, for your particular workflow. So let's, let's do this. Let's go to Logic Pro, Key Commands, Edit find the menu item you want. You're going to have to know what it's called or else you can you can kind of navigate through it, but it's a pain. Here it is, create two track automation points and I've gone learn by key label and typed in some keys that I knew weren't being used elsewhere, which is shift and command and two. So now I can go, oh, please make a change between bar 60 to 62. Okay, so 60, I click right on this. And by the way, I don't have to turn on snapping because the playhead tends to sort of snap magnetically, automatically. Even when snapping is turned off, the playhead always responds, oh, it's, it, it actually snaps to those beats anyway. So I find this really useful. No need to mess around with snapping. Go to bar 60, do the keyboard shortcut, it's done. What did it say? From 60 to 62. Well, that actually means to the end of 62 and the start of 63. If you ever seen 60 to 62 written in an exam, it means all of 60, all of 61, and all of 62 as well. And it should make musical sense. So then I go to here, and I can just create that change. So that's really quick. Oh, shortcut, wrong thing. There, 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 done. So those are three little tips. Snapping, copying, by holding down the Alt key, and also this trick up here in the mix menu that uh, I think it's really worth having as a shortcut and using that whenever you need to make an immediate change.